TrueCline Pro, there are two places where you can create your recipes and become an efficient florist and a designer. Let's go ahead and take a look how that works. When you're on the dashboard, you can head on over to the project, find the project that you want to create a recipe for. I'm going to go to this project and then I can make any recipes I want from my project worksheet. Once I'm in the project worksheet, I can add a category. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and add a Celebrons bouquet and honor attendant and then click save. Let's go ahead and add something in the groom's flowers as well. Let's add a bunch of things as a matter of fact. Okay, now I can say that I'm going to start creating a recipe. So for the honor attendant, I can click on my recipe, which is right under the pricing section and a client cannot see this. Go ahead and open this. There are a lot of things that you are going to be able to see. We're gonna dive into each one of them. Note, there's, note that there is a button, copy to, plus add recipe. So when we add recipe, it's going to bring you to this screen where it's going to load the entire inventory so you can search it. So let's go ahead and do Juliet Roses. So I can find that, click on the box and be done with it. Or I can do a back, uh, let's look for Tiffany Rose. And I found that. I can also look for non-floral items such as, let's do Oasis and then you'll see things that we've already added in the system. So this is being pulled from our own inventory. So I can choose a floral cage and then can say done, or I can now go to the recipe and if I have an existing recipe, I can actually choose that. What it's going to do is take the two raw ingredients, two or three raw ingredients that we picked, two or three raw ingredients that we picked along with the recipe itself. The recipe image is going to populate itself here if it's added in the recipe from the recipe library, which we will visit shortly. Under the recipe here, you can see various information and you're seeing this warning already here. It's telling you that your recipe price here, it's higher than the item price that you're quoting. So if I put down this at 150, it is going to recognize and then this sign will go away as soon as I refresh it. Once you add the quantity and the price and you refresh this button or you can simply go to another tab and come right back to it, it should reflect the change in price like it just did here. It's always a matter of refreshing your page. Let's take a look at all the other things we can do. If you wanted to show these particular images on the proposal, it says right here, show on the proposal, you need to check that box. Only the images are going to show, no other details, no pricing. Remember, this is all internal task. If you wanted to see more details about a particular flower, you can click on it. And if you find that this item you want to update some details of it. You can click on edit inventory and this is going to open up for you in another page where you're going to be able to edit the inventory. Now, this way you haven't left this original page. You can go here and change cooler or you can even say, so this is a permanent location so you don't want to change it Every time you're using it, this is not the place to do that. You can easily change your markup if you wanted to, that from now on my markup should be 350 for this. You can also say it's showing as peach, but I also want to show this as an apricot, for example. So you can add a color. Now again, this is completely customizable to you. I'm going to go ahead and click save. I'm going to come back to my page and I haven't left my space at all. The other things that you can do here is change the quantity once you have added the item. So I can say I need two stems of feather eucalyptus. This is not by bunch. 
So you do want to learn, is this by bunch or is this by stem? So let's go ahead and take a look at the difference. Here it says per item. So we know that this is one per item, but this was a bunch. Let me do that again. See, in anatomy, it says it's by bunch and there's 10 stems in a bunch. So if you are ordering three stems, just write down three. Now, the other important piece is if you needed two of this, don't go and do the math and put down six here. Only make recipe for one item. The computer is going to do the work for you when you change the quantity. So you don't need to worry about the math. Okay, guys. So let me go ahead and put that down to the one that we had. The next thing you're able to do is if you're working in a particular holiday time or season, you know the pricing have gone up. So a, the pricing can fluctuate according to the season, weather, temperature. There's so many things, right? So we can say normally this eucalyptus had cost $1.08. Now I want to change this to $1.25 or to be safe, I want to make this $1.50. This way you built in the cushion for your profit when you're building recipes. You can also change markup here in the recipe without changing your original markup. Then it's going to tally up for you on the bottom how much you should charge. This is a suggested price. You do not need to follow it. It says you should charge. If I kept these item and the pricing and the markup, I should charge $112. Does that mean I have to put down 112? No, you can easily round, round it. You can easily round that to 125. You can do 145, whatever works for you and your business. Let's go back to the recipe. Now let's say I absolutely love this recipe and I want to copy this recipe into another bouquet. But I know that I already have some recipes made. Actually, we're lucky. We have nothing in the mother's bouquet, so let's do this. The honor attendant, so always check before copying over the recipe. Let's say I love this recipe. I'm going to give the same thing to the mother. I can copy this instead of doing the hard work. Just choose that and click done. What that's going to do is now you've done the hard work. All you have to do is copy it and it will be done. Just like that magic. And if you needed to reduce something, you can even say, okay, the mom's not going to get anatomy. She's not going to get David Austin Rose. You can go through all of that. And then this becomes so much simpler for you. So that's how you copy a recipe. Let's go back to where we were. Let's say you have somebody new coming into work and you, you want them to clean the flowers. You can go to our prep list and actually click on the list and populate. What that's going to do is that populate any instructions that are given that you can see here. Let's go ahead and open this up so you can see if there was any information that was filled out here and that item was on that recipe list, it will populate this information and you can edit this. So if you needed to change something, go ahead and change it and then make sure you save that. This will produce a report that you can use the one week or two week before the event. You could also dive into the design board to grab the flowers instead of going into the inventory. And you might be like, what is design board? So let's go ahead and review that. If you chose your elements, so let me get rid of these blues, for example. We'll do purples and blushes. Okay, now you see all these candelabras, all these items. So they're called elements. Let's go ahead and choose a still be. And we're going to do stock as well. Now, if you don't know all the flowers, I'm not saying we have every single flower listed in our system, but it does the work for you. Watch the magic guys. Once you've done color and the elements and click on populate, what the computer does for you is looks through the entire inventory 
in those colors and checks against each of the item and puts it on the board for you to use. So it's suggesting you can use any of these flowers to make your recipe. So let's go ahead and now take a look at how that works. So if I now dive into design board, now I don't have to look through my whole inventory and take extra time. I can just quickly scroll and see what it's suggesting. And I'm like, oh yes, I love that. I love the cool water, done. And that's, it's that simple. Another thing you can do here in the design board is add particular inventory item that you want for the entire wedding and then start basically creating recipes down there. Let's go ahead and collapse this. Now, if you love this recipe right now, you can save it. But remember that you're able to copy within the project. So what I typically recommend is that once you get professional pictures or if you take photo yourself, upload the photo after you've created the product, update your recipe and then save this to the library. So when you save this to the library, it'll give you recipe name. So you can still say bridal bouquet, white peach, whatever the description is, tuck it under the right category. And in the description, you can even add client's name and colors and then click save. When you save the recipe, it gets saved into your li recipe library. The next thing you can do is the location. So what do I mean by the location? Once the bouquet or the perishable items are actually put together ingredients one by one, where am I going to find this item? Now, we know some of you create more than one wedding a day, so you may have similar bouquets and you don't want your staff to take the wrong bouquet. You want them to start pulling out the right items. So you can say in cooler on the rack number two and then write down whatever the details you want. So this will show up on the report. Instruction. So if you want, you can add any details in the instruction, such as don't add the seeds that are open from the seeded eucalyptus here because the bride said that to you that she doesn't like it. I had one bride who says, oh, that reminds me of spiders. Please don't put it in. So anything like that you want to put in, you can. You can also put in instructions such as make this very loose. Don't um, tie the bouquet too tight because the stem should be flared and long and exposed. Or you can write down step-by-step -step instruction on how a centerpiece should be set up. So this is an extremely powerful uh, piece and you can write as much as you guys need to. Then you can check your rental availability on specific items. So if any item was marked, so let's go ahead and add an item that is a rental item. So let me go ahead and add that rental item that we were just talking about. And I will just choose lantern because I know the lanterns are rental. Here we go. So now if I look at my rental item availability, it's telling me I will be out of two lanterns because I don't have them in the stock. Then by mistake, if I deleted any items from my recipe, so for example, if I deleted anatomy because the bride's like, no, that's too much of a dark color, I don't want it, then she changes her mind, then you can just simply bring that back. Now you don't have to do the guessing work, it's here. If you added the recipe, you wanna look at the recipe details. You can click on that. It will open up for you in a second page where the recipe library lives. And it's going to show you all the details in one place. So if you miss something, internal notes or anything, you're able to read it right here. And this recipe section produces your recipe report, worksheet reports, and other various cost reports. Let me show you what they are. Under the production report, the recipe section is affected with the report with price, without price, project summary of order, which actually takes all the recipes together, calculates all the flowers and stems together for you to get a better pricing. It also interacts with the project cost report, pull list, prep list, and 
the run of the day reports with those instructions and the locations. It gets all listed out here. I hope you enjoy this feature. I know that's a lot of information. The more you use it, the better you're going to get at it. And always pause a video if you think I went too fast or you want to listen to that again. If you need further information on the lower right hand corner, there's a chat box. Use the keyword recipe in here, so then scroll down and click on see more results. When you do that, it's going to open up on a bigger page. If you're using a small computer or anything else, separate tab and then search for the article. If you still need further assistance, please email us at support at truecliencpro.com.